Hi, this is TK Viper and today I'm going to show you my mini workshop inside my room in my Japanese apartment. Uh, as you can see, the room is very small. That's because we're in Japan and land is expensive. Okay, so uh, if you want to make your own flutes, bamboo flutes, then uh, this is the setup that I recommend. I started this hobby about a week ago and today I've finished collecting all the tools needed to make the process quicker and less a pain in the butt. Okay, so let me show you the stuff I have. As you can see in the background I have some bamboo material. Some back there dark bamboo and some regular bamboo. They're very old so dry so it really makes the sound much better okay next uh, you can see all the flutes I've made already so far just this week I've made about eight or nine flutes right there uh, you can see some dark ones and some light ones and the brown one is not made by me I bought that about 12 years ago it's a Chinese flute Okay, so let's look at the tools I have uh, right here. First of all, you need one of those workshop tables. I didn't have this uh, until yesterday, or until today, and uh, it really took a long time to cut the bamboo, and to drill holes, basically I had to hold everything by my, my own hands. You know, just hold the bamboo with one hand and then cut with the other one. And that took a lot of power. In the beginning, when I first started, I only had this uh, $1 cheapy saw here. And it took forever to cut a piece of bamboo. And a lot of strength was needed. And I also had a filing rod. And that's it. That's all. And the hammer. Okay. And it took like 10 hours to make my first... Japanese shakuhachi, but uh, that hot, the shakuhachi sounds really nice, even though it's cracked because I didn't have the proper tools. You know, if you just turn a little bit too much, sometimes the bamboo will crack. Okay, so let me uh, show you what I have now. Okay, today I bought this table here. It's very nice. You can uh, adjust the table the gap so you can uh, lock in your your flute right there so very easy to cut it cut bamboo now and to drill holes okay yesterday I bought a much much better saw the magic saw the magic saw and it is kind of like magic because the way it cuts the bamboo so effortless and not not much power was needed here's the saw very small, very compact, comes with eight blades that are ultra strong as they claim. And one giant blade for cutting the trees and stuff like that. But for the for our purposes, only this uh, these mini blades are needed. Okay. So later maybe I'll demonstrate how powerful the saw is. And uh, so this is yesterday, and a few days ago, maybe three days ago, I bought the power drill. Very nice power drill. Only 20 bucks. So you can see, here it is, you can't read it, it's in Japanese, but maybe if you're Japanese you can read it. So uh, yeah, you can use a 0.8 to 10 millimeter drill heads so very nice also there's a uh, five speeds and uh, what else does it have oh it goes both ways also you can put in a screwdriver it should work it works with any shape so you can have uh, the shape or the hexagonal shapes octog octagonal shapes or the, the circular shapes it works with all drill heads and screwdrivers whatever you want to 
attached to it as long as it's between 0.8 to 10 millimeters in diameter okay so rather powerful saw I mean powerful drill it is powered by the adapter so it's not powered by batteries so it's much uh, much more powerful okay and uh, with that I bought a set of uh, drill heads here we go from 1.5 to 6.5 millimeter okay so to make a flute use the biggest one usually you want the holes to be about 10 millimeters instead of uh, 6.5 but 6.5 will open the hole big enough so you can insert the circle the circular filing rod to shape your hole and to tune your flute correctly okay you don't want to use a 10 millimeter drill because then maybe your tuning will be off and you can't fix it anymore so use a smaller drill head and fix your tuning with one of these next uh, to uh, to uh, break through all the nodes if you have a really long flute uh, long piece of bamboo you can't really use this here to break through all of them you can br break the first one you know but you can't break the ones in the middle so uh, before today I was using this here this rod and this little piece of iron I have I just uh, extend the length like this and I file the inside of the flute using this right here sometimes I have to use a hammer to hammer this tightly so I can clear through the flutes inside but because this is not uh, circular it's very rough so the older the flutes I made yesterday the insides were not so smooth was not circular okay and uh, today I went to the hardware store and bought myself one of these here now this is very long it's about a yard or even longer it's about a yard and a foot long and uh, just stick this in there and uh, you can break through all the holes and smooth out the inside therefore uh, improving the airflow it's gonna make the flute sound a lot better okay it's so one of these here it's not cheap this is fifteen dollars believe it or not okay and that's all you need for making flutes uh, let me tell you how much uh, the whole thing cost so the table 20 bucks roughly in Japanese yen it's 2,000 yen so roughly $20 uh, the power saw $20 so that's 40 the drills $6 that's 46 the rod $15 okay 26 31 41 dollars no no 46 51 61 dollars 61 dollars and the magic saw was 30 bucks around 30 bucks so 61 91 okay 90 92 dollars this was like 30 31 dollars 92 dollars and uh these rods here they're maybe like a few bucks so all together maybe 10 bucks so 90 92 102 about 100 bucks okay so yeah 100 bucks to have this set up here and it's very nice because you can also make other stuff with it too just bamboo flutes okay so let me show you some of the flutes I've made so far okay the first one I made was this one here as you can see it's cracked a bit but it's not cracked all the way through just the I guess the skin is cracked just the covering still plays very nicely it's uh, not very beautiful the shape is kind of strange okay and I didn't start at the node so the opening is much smaller much easier to play it's a Japanese shakachi the way it's cut a 30 degree angle cut here and it's got four holes on the front one on the back it's a pentatonic scale so four holes means five notes this hole is just a 
an extra hole that brings you to the next octave but you don't really need it because you can actually cover all the holes and just blow harder to go to the next octave okay so it goes all the way through again this uh, this opening is completely open so you got to cover most of this with your chin or the, the part of your your mouth below the lip so if you have a really small chin or very thin lips this may be hard to play it sounds very nice so let me demonstrate okay you can't play really loud now because it's 2 a.m. and people will get pissed off again uh, you gotta get used to the the blowhole and if you're used to playing a smaller flute and you go into a bigger flute it's kind of easy you get more room to blow into the hole but if you're going the other way going back to a thinner flute sometimes it can be very hard but you just got to get used to it all over again okay this is the first one I made very nice okay next one are these two small Shaku Ichi. So instead of a foot and eight inches, it's a foot and one inch. Shaku Ichi. Ichi means one. So again, the Japanese tuning, four holes. One here, pentatonic scale. Cut at a 30 degree angle. Much higher. Starts with an A. Again, you gotta get used to the hole because they're all different sizes. So, you know, if you master one, you should stick with that one. I mean, if you want to switch another one, you're gonna practice this one and you're gonna forget about the other one. So, uh, you know, you gotta stick with one flute to be a, to play it like a master. Okay, the next one I made was a Chinese flute. Okay. Tuning is a major scale. It's a C. I think it's a C, yeah. So five holes instead of four on the front, one on the back. So that gives you seven notes in total. Again, it goes through. The opening is complete, full opening here. And it's not really a Chinese flute because it's cut like a Japanese shakuhachi. Okay, but the, the tuning is a Chinese tuning or a major scale tuning. Sounds very nice, very low tone. Uh, the only problem is this is really thick. This piece is really thick, so the opening is very big. Sometimes I have trouble playing it. It's very big. You gotta cover most of that with your lip. how it sounds okay and the next one I made was another Chinese flute this time a very small one foot flute it's one foot shaku five holes cut like a Japanese shakuhachi just a major major scale okay quick demonstration here Next one I made more. Oh, it's a Japanese uh, black shakuhachi. Thinner piece of bamboo, so kind of hard to play. And this one is beautiful. Maybe the most beautiful one I've made so far, but it doesn't play very well. I messed up with the last hole, the tuning is off a bit. Instead of a D, it goes to a D sharp. Not so good, but it looks good. Very nice for decoration. It plays well too, you just can't play the last hole okay and last night oh no a few days ago I made a horizontal flute instead of a vertical flute so you blow into the hole here hold it sideways and again six holes it's a uh, major scale so let's uh, let me play it
can't really play it. It's 2 a.m. So I gotta be careful not to wake up my neighbors. And last night I made my first minor scale flute. So five holes on the front, one on the back. It's minor scale. You can see these two holes are closer to each other. So minor scale. But the only bad thing about this experience was that on the last hole I cracked the flute in half. And it really bummed me out because I spent two hours perfecting all these holes. Okay, the tuning is perfect. It's just as cracked. So I taped it. I can still play it. Sounds very nice. Looks very ugly. It's a minor scale, so it's very uh, melodic. Tetris song on it. There we go. I was very pissed off because it cracked. But right afterwards, I made another one exactly the same as this one. Except I used a bigger piece of bamboo. It's a little bit thicker. Oh yeah, and these two flutes, I used a Chinese way of cutting it. The Chinese uh, Xiao flute. Well, let me show you. This is one that I bought 12 years ago from Chinatown. And see, the opening is just a partial opening on the top. No angle cut. Instead, it's angled on the inside this way. So, I, so you can see it's very thin here at the tip and it tapers. And then it tapers at the tip and it gets wider. Okay. And this makes it very easy to play because you don't have to cover the whole thing with your lips. It's going to cover this part and blow into the hole. So that's why they're very easy to play. And uh, they're much easier than this one because this one is very thin, so very hard to get my air into it now because I'm used to the bigger flutes. I used to play this very easily, but I've gotten used to the Japanese uh, shakachi cut. Now this is kind of hard to play. But these are these are very easy because much bigger. You can see, and uh, because this one is much uh, thicker. It sounds a lot better too. Gives you a richer sound. Resonates better. But they're about the same length. Same tuning. It's a minor scale. You can see these two holes are very close to each other. And sounds about the same, but resonates much better. one the one that I'm making right now uh, I'll maybe finish it tomorrow but it's pretty much done except for one more hole but because the last hole is not really like necessary uh, it's pretty much playable in the current state okay and this flute is very special it's very, it's very unique because it's kind of like a hybrid in the way it's cut up here it's cut like a shakuhachi this way but uh, this way, it's cut like a Chinese, Chinese flute. So let me play it for you. Very nice. <laughs> That's it. This is my last flute. When I finish with it, I will show you again with another demo video. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.